Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be talking about how David Platt is victorious. He is victorious. McLean Bible Church wins the lawsuit filed by church members against McLean Bible Church has been dismissed. So David Platt comes away victorious. That's what we're going to be talking about today. This is following up on a story I covered about 10 months ago. So we're going to be catching up on this story. We're also going to be uh, talking about what it means. At the time, we debated how ethical or not ethical, how biblical it was to sue a church. Is there ever a time where it is a good idea to sue a church? Now, this instance was definitely along the borderline. I would lean towards no. It is not a biblical lawsuit, but it was definitely closer to the border than other instances of church lawsuits. Uh, of course, one instance of a intra-church lawsuit, and I use that term broadly, intra-church that is, is the McRaney lawsuit against the North American Mission Board. That would be, to me, completely biblical as it was a defamation suit. But otherwise, and then Mike Stone's lawsuit that he withdrew against Russell Moore would have been a biblical lawsuit because Mike Stone is a, or not Mike Stone, Mike Stone's a good guy. Uh, Russell Moore is a wolf, so I don't believe that 1 Corinthians 5 a, applies to obvious wolves in sheep's or wolves' clothing. So, but David Platt and suing a church regarding its vi a violation of its own bylaws is a completely different matter. I don't think it's biblical. And if you have to sue a church in a pagan court to save that church, it cannot be saved. It is beyond saving. So let's catch up. Uh, I'm going to reference my own material because, again, I covered this at the time. So it's uh, good to use my own coverage. Uh, so on July 15th, uh, 2021, a complaint was filed in court alleging that McLean Bible Church violated its own bylaws to bar certain members from voting on elder candidates. Uh, McLean Bible Church had three elders up for a vote by a congregation at once. The initial vote on all three of these failed during a meeting on June 30th, 2021. Uh, a Wednesday, but during a Sunday worship service on July 18th, they conducted a second vote. So they had a do-over vote. And in the, between the do-over, in between the failed vote and the do-over vote, I believe they cleaned voter rolls and membership list to kind of bar certain members from voting. I believe that was the issue at the time. But alas, the lawsuit after much turmoil, much deliberation in many months has been dismissed. And here's the funny thing. The lawsuit was a week away from depositions starting. So depositions were about to start on this lawsuit, but now the case has been dismissed. So I believe the only legal step forward is they can appeal the dismissal, but they can't actually amend their filings or anything like that. They have to appeal the dismissal. I believe that is the next step for the lawsuit should they want to continue the lawsuit. But I'm not a law tuber. Uh, I'm just a Christian who is reporting the story here. There, there is a Facebook group called uh, Save uh, McLean Bible Church. And they posted this in light of the uh, dismissal. I'll... I'll read their, we can go to their actual page for this. Uh, Rejoice with the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. God is good and on time. At the same time, across town, in a Fairfax courtroom, Judge David Bernard, Bernhard, even after a mountain of evidence, decided with McLean Bible Church to throw out the case. NBC pushed this motion to a hearing before depositions were to start next week. While this may seem like that corruption has won the day, God was not taken by surprise. He will not be mocked. He knows the truth, and we wait and pray for his direction. God is good and on time. So, 
definitely a brave face put on by Save McLean Bible Church. Again, it is a very uphill battle that they have from here. David Platt is victorious in this instance, but honestly, how much more victorious can he get? Because David Platt, I believe, is on the decline. This is one of my top stories from 2021 was the decline of David Platt. It was somewhere in the uh, uh, like number eight top story of the church last year was the decline of David Platt. And the reason was, is I see David Platt going in the revoice direction a little bit. Uh, he did sign up for a conference, but I believe he later withdrew from that conference. I'm not sure why. It might have been a scheduling conflict. But it seems like he's going in the Hillsong direction. That's the direction that David Platt appears to be going in. There is a massive debate about whether McLean Bible Church is a Southern Baptist church. Uh, it's pretty unclear to the members and uh, whether it is a Southern Baptist church or not. It, but it does seem like David Platt was brought in there to make it a Southern Baptist church. So that's a thing. That's a dis that's a debate. And the bylaws in the in McLean Bible Church are very clear about not wanting to join a denomination. So that that that's just one of the problems. Additionally, a and let me make sure I get the name right uh, because I don't want to mispronounce this dude who who's done yeoman's work on this. Salvador Cur Cordova has documented sharp attendance decline at McLean Bible Church. He was a whistleblower that was documenting attendance. I believe he also was kicked out violently by McLean Bible Church's staff. So this church is in decline and it's because it embraced branch covenantism. It's because it embraced general social justice gospel issues. McLean Bible Church is in decline. There's an entire group and probably associated with the Facebook group, they have their own website, Restore McLean uh, Bible Church. That That's the name of the website. And they're trying to restore it. They have a document trove of evidence of its decline, of its liberal drift, of its corruption. But again, at the end of the day, if you have to sue a church to save a church, the church is beyond saving. So that's really all I got to say about that. This is an update on the story. And before I close out, I do want to uh, just thank you all for the feedback on the video I did on abortion and how making abortion unimaginable is a is an unbiblical goal. If you haven't seen that video, definitely watch that video. And thank you all for the feedback on that. Y'all make me think that this is the best video I've ever done or that was the best video I've ever done. And yeah. Uh, and I'm definitely surprised. Like sometimes you're surprised by which video really resonates with the audience. But uh, I, I knew the column was good. I, I just didn't know how how good in comparison the video was. So, but thank you all for the feedback. Uh, again, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. That's the least you can do. And if you want to support this kind of content on a monthly basis, we have a Patreon-like system over at evangelicaldarkweb.org/join. Uh, you can do that for as little as five dollars a month. So thank you all for subscribing, for liking the videos and sharing the content. Uh, don't forget to check out evangelicaldarkweb.org for just news updates in general. Leave a comment below about what you think about what I think, and I will catch you on the next one.